Hello, Desmond Butts here, and we're going to do some 3D printing again. Look at all these parts. This are the inner workings of a clock. Found this on Thingiverse, and I thought I would uh, print them all out and put them together. There's over 20 of them, and uh, it took more than one day, obviously, to print all these. So, let's get to work. Today I'm putting together uh, pieces for a clock mechanism I got on Thingiverse. It's printing one of the gears right now. I actually printed this same piece in yellow PLA and it kind of failed on me. It looks pretty good from this side, but I uh, got a jam on the filament while I wasn't watching and it left off this part, so this is no good. But um, anyway, this red one looks good. So I've got a whole bunch more parts and I'll show more putting it together. Working more on this uh, kind of clock uh, project that I'm doing. This is the main spring right here. Taking a long time to uh, print this piece. Okay, here I have a part that I made and I tried to make this colorful, so I did everything in different colors. However, one of the problems with that is that sometimes the way that the two colors match up because they're made from different companies, like this is Hatchbox and this is a generic company, the sizes don't always fit perfectly. The one seems to be different size just ever so slightly than the other. And so the inside of this one doesn't fit, okay? It doesn't match quite right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to melt this in a process I call ironing with a uh, soldering iron and widen this out just enough so it'll fit over the end like that. This happens to be the winding stem. So this goes here, the winding tool goes there, and then it winds the clock. But this is an extension for this piece, for this piece here. So here we go. I just take it, rub along the inside edge just a little bit to smooth it out. have to let it cool. This little bit orange here because I changed filament and I purged it but just not enough to have a tiny bit of mix of the red so it made a little bit orange on that spot. All right, there we go. It's a little bit closer. I have to do a little bit more.
a little bit more. All right, there we go. A little bit tight, but it should work. Okay, here we are starting to put some of this together. This is the winding spring. This is the ratchet. There's a little bevel right here. I don't know if you can see that or not, it's right in here. Okay. That bevel goes up against this piece right here, a little nub right there. So it goes on that side in that direction. Okay. It slides on like that. The, the extension here that I ironed out goes on next this goes on there everything goes together like that that's how you wind the spring up right there this part goes inside of this barrel gear has these little teeth in it right here. Like that. When I wind it, it's supposed to click like that. All of this goes against this like that. First step done. So I uh, was mistaken. The spring doesn't go with the bevel to the outside. It goes, as you can see down in here, with the bevel by my thumb to the inside. I had the spring around backwards, and uh, the instructions I have don't say which way it goes. I just assumed it did because this has a little bit of an indentation standoff on it. But no, it goes the other way, okay? There's also a little catch spring clip right down here. And that holds the gear from going backwards when you're winding it. This is a little spring catch to hold this little piece down there into place. You can see how that works. That's that part of the assembly. Well, so far this is some of the progress that's been made. 
getting these put together. I did run into one problem though on the hairspring. Hairspring goes over that like that, snaps on. However, I uh, put it on 90 degrees off, and when I tried to get it off, I broke this. And I tried to super glue it, I don't think it's going to work. Doesn't look right. So, I just uh, resorted to printing a new one. And uh, the new one is over in blue. There it is right there. Now I've got to wait some time to, uh, to do it, get it off, clean it up. Now I used the glass plate heated and I just missed it with hairspray and it seems to hold very, very well. Sticks well, comes off easy, just wipe it off. Have to use a little bit of alcohol and swell to clean it up. All right, just a little bit of playing around. We got this working. Okay, here we have it, the completed uh, clock mechanism. I had to make a couple of changes. One of these uh, feet cracked and uh, it allowed this uh, to slip because it put slop in the whole system. These gears and things are pretty tight and uh, they require things to be rigid and their crack actually formed in one of these and it made it so this was tilted a little bit and these were slipping. Now I've got it running smooth enough that if I just turn it, it starts by itself. That took a little bit of uh, playing around here and in these gears, just taking them off, smoothing them out, doing a little bit of sanding. I hope you like this project. Please give it a good thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching.